you bring up one of the major aspects or one of the, the kind of major things with your success is you're obviously a mother of two kids. Yes. What's the daily life like looking after kids, making sure they're they're oh. looked after and then going training like a professional athlete? Because you've you have a two and a four year old approximately. Yes. Yes. So this is this year when you won that yes. senior medal, just to be yes. clear. So you're deep in Swift with two kids. Yes. Oh gosh. Um I'm in the middle of it now, so I don't really know what I'm feeling. I feel a bit numb with everything right now. I'm not gonna lie. Um it's tough. It's very hard. And I haven't spoken about this. This is me emotionally as because especially coming to my kids. It's very tough. I'm like I just want to make my kids proud and my husband proud. So I don't want to start a dream and then my kids, sorry, I'm just getting yeah, no. I'm just saying that so um, I don't want to start a dream and show them what I have started and then come into the middle of it and say, oh, mommy's tired today. She doesn't want to go training. That's no example I want to set for my kids. And me at the moment now juggling, it's so, so hard. I'm sometimes mentally fatigued. Mm -hmm. Mentally fatigued in not only being a man, mentally fatigued in owning businesses and hiccups happening. And then that leads to then being tired going into training. And obviously that leads to them. Remember, we were talking about the warm up. So obviously you have to block all that out. But yeah, it's, it's tough. I'm not any other ordinary athletes out there, as you can tell. And um, they come home, they rest, probably put an ice pack on, watch a movie, chill, maybe go to work a slight little bit. You get to chill, whatever you want, shower. No, the minute I come home, make sure, did the kids eat today? Uh, what time to get home at? Was school okay? What time are you going to shower at? What do you want to eat for dinner? Make my dinner and then shower them, feed them, put them to bed. And then I get me time and then I get rest. So you can imagine it's like another job after a job and then after a job. Is Mark your husband, is he a good sports system as part of that? Yes, absolutely. Um, I wouldn't be here today without my husband. Like, I I don't even know what to say. What like, kind of, what's he help you with? What's kind of, and you notice it the most? He is my therapist. He runs CrossFit. Um, so basically, we started off uh, opening, obviously, CrossFit Bells Oil here. And uh, he was always into fitness. And then he sold his gym then and moved then into a therapist. And... One, it was so strange, and I'm going to talk about, um, you know, the universe. I don't know if you believe in all this shit crap, but I fucking do. Dara definitely doesn't. Do you not? <laughs> I want to convince you today. I'm, I'm all ears. Sorry? I, I'm all ears. He never judges up. Oh, really? Sure. No. Um, well, yeah. Just how coincident that he started doing all the courses as I turn around and I says that I want to go back and try and qualify for the Olympics. And now um, I was literally his guinea pig for everything. But we have learned so much so fast because I'm getting niggles here, there and there. So um, he's my rock, honestly. He, myself, only myself and him knows the real behind the scene work. Only he knows when I come home from training, I'm mentally fatigued. Sometimes like I start crying. And I'm like, I don't know what I want to do with this anymore. And he's like, just keep going. Like, he sees the real behind the emotions, the the stress that comes out of me. So, like, explaining all this at the moment now is, I'm in the process, so I can't really explain it. But without him, I would not be where I am today. Yeah. You know, just on Mark's case there, it's, um, it's very uncommon or unusual for the I suppose in most scenarios it's very rare that the male at least or the male is behind the scenes and being super supportive you know because a lot of men just kind of wouldn't be able to or kind of rationalise that a little bit a lot of times egos would get in the way yes you know to be seen as a 
almost emasculating that yes. piece of sort of a view. Yes. Being a female at least, yes. pushing yourself for that, you know, it takes yes. a lot. A lot. I totally understand that, but I have given Mark his time and now I dem- uh, demand my time back. It's, it's weird. He was like into high CrossFit as well. And when he went to compete in like a way, I always support him. And no matter what he did, or what he wanted. Yeah, yeah. I always, always says, you should go for it. Absolutely, go for it. And then we went and he went to competitions and I went and supported him. Obviously, because when we first met then, um, when we first met, uh, I stopped weightlifting. Obviously, I had, I had two kids, got married and he was still kind of doing training. I would never stop that. Mm-hmm. So when I turned around to him and I says, I want to come back, he kind of knew that right, my time is done. And to be honest, he's 12 years older than me, so he can't do Yeah, he's old. Yeah. Old and I'm sorry, like, he looks like a 20-year, but, like, age will come to you he's as well. Right, to be fair, he's yeah. in yeah. insane shape. Yeah, he's in great now. He is in you insane shape. Put a photo of him and, and yeah, friend. Okay, he's here. He's back as, like, loose oceans. It's insane. <laughs> he was doing a hydrox workout earlier. Yeah. And I just walked behind him as he's doing, like, box jumps or box step-ups. And I'm like, what in the name of God? You know, <laughs> bit like a brick shit house. And your friend. Yes. He he looks after his body a lot. His nutrition is A1. Yeah. Like, he's like that 24-7. And Mark really looks after himself as like, not because uh, he knows whatever's not good for his body, he won't put into it. Yeah. You know, yeah, so yeah, he yeah. really looks after us. Yeah. Tammy, yeah. this is along the same lines there, right? But yes. a lot of the time, like we're in CrossFit gyms constantly mm-hmm. and you'll see a lot of couples that kind of train together. Yeah. And it's funny, there's always this kind of dynamic of like, oh, I can't be the person to tell him that or I can't be the person to tell her that if there's like something going wrong or they need yeah. a coaching cue. Yeah. Do you have any advice for people like that if they're like maybe training with their partner as to how that, how to keep that dynamic sweet, you know? Oh, um, dynamic sweet. Or maybe there is no solution to no. it. I don't interact, to be honest. No. Yeah. Um, oh, like, Mark's trained for high rocks. I'm trained for Olympic weightlifting. I do listen to Mark um, in the sense that he's my therapist. We know when to switch. And if there's something wrong with me in training, I'm so focused in training and I have a coach. I personally don't believe my husband should be my coach. Mm-hmm. Yeah, helping in the background, knowing behind the scene work, all that, I totally get it. But emotion, personal and it's like family gets in the way, you don't listen to them. So I can't really give somebody advice on that. To me, I wouldn't do it. Yeah. But that's the reason why I got, I got coach. Um, but we don't interact in training. He knows when I'm coming into training, I'm training and... If there was any moral support, he would come over to me. If I needed anything, anything wrong with my body, he sees there's anything wrong. This is a therapist coming over to me. Um, I don't look at him as my husband when I'm in training. To be honest, that's the best piece of advice I think you could give someone. I think so. This is like you're literally living this life of trying to make it to the Olympics. You're competing internationally constantly. Yes. If someone, if that's the advice you give, that's the best. Is it? To me, I was like, I don't really know what advice to give somebody for that. Uh, but knowing when to draw the line. Obviously, there was a point that when we, this all was starting, and I and he'd be trying to tell me what to do with this ex, and I'd be like, this. What? And then, and I'm like, what are you talking about? And then I wouldn't do the exercise. And he's like, did you do the exercise I gave you? I said, no. And he actually sat me down and he says, if you want to do this properly, and you're not even paying me for this, and as if you want to do this properly, you have to listen to me at, like a therapist. Like I'm your actual rehab specialist. I'm your nutritionist and uh, thing because I'm serious about this. So then when he really sat me down and he says, take me as obviously like your therapist, then I look at him as a therapist point. But then obviously when we're at home, he's my husband. So it's a change then. You get me? 